Yeah, and I agree. Like trapping, say that's guarding. Mm, really good uh, explosive combos as well. They both play a, a pretty similar game plan. And even though Sinny is the uh, the one seed, I could definitely uh, see him. I could definitely see Dan taking this. He's a bit of friendly taunting at the start, you know? You can tell they're good friends going yeah. into this. There's, there's some history behind this. Yeah, for sure. Definitely have their fair share of sets in Smash 4 and Ultimate, of course. Sinny going for the combo right off that. Oh! Oh, oh the and the homie, homie stock! Oh, the homie damn. stock. Aw, oh, you love to see that one. Really, that's just a feel-good moment, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. At least they're, these are two, clearly two experienced players, know each other well. And they're just looking after each other, honestly. From one combo to another, you know. Yeah, that's kind of how this matchup goes. Like, Inkling bodies Mario, the Mario bodies Inkling. And it's really just a matter of if Inkling can kill Mario. Because Mario has the ability to just play super defensive against Inkling. Yeah, with fireball camping and such. Yeah, he can just kind of chill back. And Inkling's kind of got to make something happen. And that is that can be difficult sometimes. But honestly, I don't think it's that big a deal. And Bear is really good in the match too. Sitting Boo going deep for Asgard. Oh, trying to get the new, trying to get the ultimate match. Very close. What a downer. Leaves out of the percent range. Yeah, get some good damage. Yeah, catch his landing. Four throw. Four throw. Down oh, there down again. Down. All right. Now he's gonna try to hit four throw and go for any uh, go for any hit after it. Possibly Just trying to condition play. for bad oh, that yeah, yeah. That throw. Mm. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, condition that uh, ledge right there with Splat Bomb. Got down to neutral get up. Into a back here for a clean kill. And now, oh yeah, I forgot. It's two stacks for one. Yeah. But, oh, nice tag. That's a great tag. <laughs> I'm really confused with that. Oh, big combo now. Oh, barely missed the mark, but he still can no, good so damage. Oh, waited that out. stop. That's so he keeps going. Yeah, he's, just, he's really just pressing his advantage. Sinibu playing really well defensively around Dan. That's gonna be the, the jab luck for the reset. Very nice. Dan trying to make something happen. Trying to just, he's swinging from the fence right now. Hope I'm hoping here. I don't believe that's going to kill. And nowhere near. Yeah. Not. Oh, oh, there it is. It. That's how smash. Game one's gonna be going to Sinibu. Sinny seems really experienced in this matchup. Like yeah, against sure. Dan specifically. I feel like he he has a really good grasp of how to play around him. <laughs> And usually Dan's the one who like takes control of the match, but like he'll he'll play more passively, like more defensively, to try to um like exploit your habits and punish you for them. But it seems like Sinny just knows how to he he just knows how to play around Dan. Actually, I'm not I'm not expecting any character switches. What is it, what stage are you expecting? Well, I assume. I mean, I didn't see the stage gone. Pick. Yeah, are definitely man. gone. So. I don't know. I didn't see the stage fix. Nashville? Yeah. Well, that makes sense, yeah. Honestly, I feel like the stage is really good for both characters. Fairly Honestly, even, you know. In my opinion, this is probably Inkling's best stage. I think Inkling really likes to like not have a ton of room, and the the middle platform is really, really good for combos. But I feel like this also equally benefits Dan, because Dan, uh... Like, what's it called? Like, naturally, I feel like if uh, tripods are gone, I think it makes a lot of sense to go back here. Or not go back here, but you know what uh, I mean. Oh, yeah. Uh, City yeah. with a 30, about 30% 30 lead. Yeah, slight lead. But honestly, I mean, I mean that's not gonna stop Dan. Though. Yeah, nothing substantial. And Dan, signature ledge trapping coming out. And like we've said countless times, Dan's adaptation is it's, insane. It's just so good. Even though these guys have played each other a ton, there's Dan still learning new things every time he plays. He's still changing up. And that off smash barely, barely makes smart, it. yeah. Fourth throw. Just get that off good positioning. He's catch on his landing. Nice inkling on ledge. Inkling struggles to get off much. But just a little bit, but you know, Cindy Boo ob obviously being the fantastic player that he is, you know, he always stops him. Great catch. That's gonna be Dan going off, taking the stock lead. Now, Dan finally in the driver's seat. Yeah, he is, he's, he's finally taking the lead in the set. This could honestly be really big because granted, Cindy Boo struggles to kill him. Yeah, Dan can get some really big damage. Like, usually, Back like, ledge, Dan's just gotta play super evasive and try to avoid everything. But that's good. Is the TNS guy? Not quite. No, but there's the up there, gonna be taking it. Really close to even, but honestly, it's really just gonna be who gets the first grab. Oh, no match! Oh! That's a big combo. 67. Maybe and he thought Cindy Boot was going for the mash mix up, you know? Yeah, maybe he was like, what, mix up? Oh, trying to go for that. Barely out of the percent range, so I believe that is that can be a confirm. It's not like a typical one, but I know that can work. Mm, for sure. Both characters, like, this is such an explosive match. There it is. The 
mix up. Oh, only going for back here though. I don't blame him. I, I'm assuming he's expecting that. Yeah. So yeah, honestly, that was probably his best option. Just kind of catches the roller. And oh, oh no, he's it's, good. it's yeah, a good thing. Yeah, honestly, Anchor's recovery is so Watch, good. Looking for an air out after that down throw, not finding it. Mm. Oh, there we go. Assuming back throw, yeah, just for good positioning, got him on ledge. Back to even game though. Cindy Boo's finding his way back. Oh, there he is. Good off snap. Dan taking his off. Yeah, Cindy Boo, you know, laughing it off, realizing, you know, kind of, kind of silly on his end, but, you know, he, he's determined to bring it back. And Dan, you know, he's just getting his damage, trying to avoid uh, trying to avoid getting killed. That's a big way you want to play against him. You just want to play super good. And Cindy Boo again, he's super good with hitting these upgrades against him. He's not letting Dan breathe. Like, whenever Dan jumps, Cindy Boo, he, he purposely waits until he's at a kill percent to, like, catch his jump, because yeah. then he can kill him with an up air. And consider Inkling, like, I wouldn't say Inkling really struggles to kill, but it can at times be an issue. And that's really smart, because he can kind of guarantee a kill. But, I mean, you know Dan's going to be taking note of that. And Dan, while looking around, Dan's just taking control of this game. He's got Cindy Boo at ledge now. It's really looking good for Dan, but honestly, one, in one Inkling combo, and just something, um, you know, he could get a kill confirm and edge guard. It's off the there, there, oh, there, there it is, off smash. There's an adaptation I'm talking about. Him exactly, he's so good. Knew he was gonna uh, try to punish with an aerial out of shield, so. You know, and for him. It works. One of England's few weaknesses, that out of shield, or mediocre. Yeah, not, not the best out of shield options, honestly. So yeah, that was a really smart thing. He knew that off smash could, uh, like, he wouldn't get hit by an air or an up air out of shield. Especially if you cross him off, because then he kind of, like, Inkling's, like, aerials don't have the best angle, like, one in terms of uh, hitting out a shield. So, yeah. That was a uh, very smart option. Super Dan. Alright, game three. Back to Smashville. Back to Smashville. Big damage off the bat. Yeah, 80%. Yeah, that's big damage. Big combo. But, you know, everyone, you know, Dan's very capable of bringing it back. And here it is. This could be the start of something. There we go. Dan got Cindy Dan got on ledge. There goes great read. He just oh. you know, waiting to shield, waiting for the reaction. And oh, that's probably meant to be an up beat, unless he was trying to wait something out. But unless I'm not sure. Well, he's all like maybe he was going for like a bear, a immediate bear or something. I really don't know. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going for. Oh, oh, that's the edge guard. That was a great edge guard by Cindy. Great trade in his favor for sure. So he's probably gonna try. Oh, oh never great mind. Two frame. That was so smart. Yeah, Dan's so good with those forward smashes. Dan really pushing the matchup. For yeah, he's really, uh, he's making up all oh, barely with him. grab. That's huge. That could have been a ton of damage. I was going to mention, I really I really haven't seen much ink on Super Dan for the majority of the set. Like, every time it's a big combo, it's just without ink. So yeah, exactly. If City Book can find a little bit of ink too, like, the damage isn't even. Like extremely, extremely greater than it was previously. Yeah, and oh, but here's Dale with his oh, combo. Oh, that was so close. Slightly off the mark. Was barely yeah, escaping death there. So that was very smart. Yeah, just you know, got the stage control right now. He's really just waiting for him to go to that platform, covering all the options after that. Very smart gameplay. Oh, there we go. Off the rope. Is this kill? Almost. No, no not quite. A pummel or two might have done it. Yeah. Oh. He actually, he ate that bomb and it barely missed him. Like the reflection. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure Dan was expecting that bomb to hit him. So yeah, Cindy Boo will take that though, you know? One one more stock away oh. from, you know, being in winner finals. This is Dan's winner stock right now. This is his winner stock, yeah. He can, uh, he's gotta make something happen, but I mean, if anyone can do it, it's Dan. Like, everyone knows how good this guy is. Oh, oh, is that gonna be it? Not okay, almost, that almost. Oh, almost catching the landing. So you can kind of spot dodge looking at Now, England Ledge is also extremely scary. I yeah, we haven't mentioned that. England's like really that. good at ledge trapping. And Cindy was very good with it. Especially with Splat Bomb, I feel. Oh, there nice it is. Classic. All right. And now, one, so one stock apiece. It's, uh, it's honestly... Two Mario 1 combos away. Honestly, yeah. He did just two grabs still I need. So Cindy's really going to be... Got to try to play the anti-grab game, you know? And really got to find a way to get this kill, too. Is he, are we going to see an S-card, though? He's oh, over a nice. Great recovery by Dan. Oh, that's true. Dan on ledge. Oh, oh classic ledge trap. That was a great ledge trap, honestly. 
you know. Sinibu, Dan. Yeah, now we got Sinibu and Raven King in winners finals.